Good day, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Rizky Sufika Pusparinda and my colleague Tia Faluki Saraswati from Polytechnic Negeri Samarinda. In this opportunity, I would like to present our paper in title Digital Storytelling as a Post-Listening Activity in Teaching Narrative Text to the Fifth Grade Students, the Implementation and Responses. Listening skill is one of the crucial aspects in learning English. It is vital because it has important role in speaking in order to give response after listening to the speakers. However, many teachers tend to neglect listening skill because there is a wrong perception that listening is an easy receptive skill compared to reading, speaking, and writing skills. Teaching and listening to children becomes a challenge to the teachers in primary schools. It is believed that children learn best when they are in enjoyable circumstances. By understanding the children's characteristics, teachers have to be thoughtfully designed the appropriate media and the proper way to deliver the lessons so that children are able to understand them. Therefore, the teaching method, learning media, and the classroom activities should go hand in hand. One of the activities that can be conducted in the classroom is digital storytelling. Through the creating processes, digital storytelling is claimed to be one of the effective activities to enable students exploring their creativity as well as engaging their motivation in their classroom learning activities. Digital storytelling itself is a modern form of art in storytelling. It combines images, music, videos, narrative stories in the form of voices. It gives a different impression and provide new experience for the storytellers and entertainers. These activities are not only able to convey the value in the narrative story, but also integrate them with the application of multimedia technology in learning activities. The aims of this study were to describe the implementation process of digital storytelling as one of course listening activities, and to present the students' responses toward the implementation. Many digital storytelling authors and educators have proposed different versions of the creating steps, but they have similar steps which can be classified as the preparation steps, production steps, and presentation steps. For the preparation steps, it can be conducted in the classroom. For the production steps, it can be conducted in the computer lab. And for the presentation step, it can be conducted either in the classroom or computer. The study conducted using the scripted qualitative method. The subjects were the fifth grade students and the English teacher of SD Muhammadiyah 15 Surabaya. It used non-probability purposive sampling with the consideration that the school has complete equipment to support the teaching and learning process. And the school also had succeeded in implementing digital storytelling in their classroom activities. The primary data was collected by using observation technique through non-participant observation shield and observation field modes. The semi-structured interview was also used to collect the data related to the student responses. From the procedures, the researchers of observing every activities occurred uh, in the classroom, especially in the implementation of digital storytelling as a post-listening activity. Then interviewing both teacher and students after the class ended, then the collected data was described referring to the problems using flowchart model analysis by Miles and Haberman. The findings of this study were the implementation of digital storytelling as a post-listening activity and student responses. For the implementation of digital storytelling as a post-listening activities, the teachers stimulated students' learning motivation by asking them about tales that are familiar to them. Then the teacher explained that they would learn about a narrative story. While he explained about the learning activities that would be conducted, he also shared the task sheet to the students. The task sheet would con was consi consisted of two parts of activities. The first part was the students were asked to answer 10 questions about the story individually. Then the second one was the students listened to an unfinished 
digital story about the princess and the dark dragon. Then they had to rewrite and finish the story based on their own passion. As for the post listening activity, there were two conducted activities in this post listening. The first one was students answered the first part of the task individually, and the second one, the students rewrote and finished the story based on their version, then creating digital storytelling in groups. Unfortunately, the teacher did not discuss the students' work after they finished answering the first task. As for the digital storytelling activity for the preparation steps, the students did not do all preparation steps. They did decide to write the story, but they did not develop the script and create storyboard. The teacher did not ask the students to develop their story in the script, which he omitted the script developing step. Then the students did not synchronize the script with the picture, but they synchronized their story with the pictures instead. For the production steps, the students created digital storytelling in Microsoft PowerPoint because they already had got the basic of Microsoft PowerPoint in their computer class, so they did not encounter many difficulties. And for the classroom situation while producing the digital storytelling, uh, it was noisy and disorganized. And the teacher did not order the representative students to record their pointers. Many students also did not work in their groups and only active students dominated the, the activities while the other students was the other students were only saw and said to the uh, active students. As for the presentation, the teacher played their digital storytelling in the class as well as checking the students' mistakes in pronouncing the words and correcting the sentences. Unfortunately, the teacher did not give the students opportunities to tell their thought about the stories made by the other groups. As for the responses here, as the learning media, all students said that they enjoyed following the implementation of digital storytelling as a post-listening activity in learning narrative text because it was interesting and they got different experience in learning this. They also said that digital story could help them to understand the story easier. Most of them found it helpful in telling stories by creating digital storytelling in their own version. As for the difficulties, some of them had difficulties such as writing the story, deciding the end of the story, selecting the images and sounds, and synchronizing the audio with the images, but they could overcome them, the difficulties, by working in groups. And all students say that they greatly enjoy making digital storytelling because it was a different activities in learning English. Also, some of them were embraced when the teacher played the digital storytelling, but they were proud and confident because their voices can could be heard by their, by their friends. As for the teacher perception, there were some questions came up when the teaching and learning process happened. The first one, why the teacher used digital storytelling as an activity apart from the complicated step of the digital storytelling? The teacher said that using digital storytelling as an activity could give a different way to teach English and could be used to explore the students' creativities. It also overcame the problem with the students who were shy to come forward and tell their stories. The second question was how the teacher evaluated the students. He said that he could evaluate the students' achievements from their cooperative work with their friends where they were making digital storytelling. And then related to the teacher's obstacles in implementing digital storytelling, the teacher said that the major problem was in managing the students. He had to ask one of the students as a representative 
to record the story. And the provided pictures were limited if compared to the student's imagination that were yeah, unlimited. And for the conclusion, the results of the observation, digital storytelling could be applied as one of activities in teaching and learning process at primary school. It helped the students exploring their imagination. It also could minimize the students' embarrassment which they face in expressing their opinions. The class condition in this observation was noisy and disorganized. It could not be assumed whether the teacher had luck in managing the classroom condition or the, last, the class uh, character was naturally chaos and disorganized because the researchers did not conduct the pre-research to, to get to know the actual class situation. For the digital storytelling processes, all the three steps were conducted but the script developing and storyboard creation was omitted. And storyboard, storyboard creation and media selection were conducted at the same time. As for the result of the interview, all students say that it was a pleasurable activity, that the digital storytelling was a pleasurable activity. They could express the imagination uh, by using digital storytelling. Some of them face difficulties in learning and pronouncing unfamiliar words, but they were still motivated to join the lesson. Okay, I think that's all for my presentation. If you have questions related to the digital storytelling as a post-listening activities, you are welcome to uh, give the question. Thank you. Have a good day.